our very first faith community broadcast here with the historic 1340 WLOK radio station. I'm your host, Pastor, Pastor Jeff, and I'm honored to serve as the pastor of Faith Community Church, where we walk by faith and not by sight. We're located at 1444 East Shelby Drive, across the street from old Bishop Byrne High School in the heart of Whitehaven. Our services begin at 930 each Sunday morning. And we would be glad to have you come by and visit with us. We are a family church. We're a very friendly church. You wouldn't have to worry about being harassed. If you want to come by and have good fellowship, good praise and worship, good word, come by and visit us anytime. We'd be glad to have you. You can call our church office at 901-474-1700. Or you can visit our website at memphisfaith.com for more information about our church. Again, we're so honored to be a part of this family tradition with 1340, and it's our hope that we might say or share something today that would be a blessing to those who are listening here in the city of Memphis, uh, the surrounding areas, and even across the world. Uh, I'm a native Memphian, born and raised here in the South. I graduated from Whitehaven High School and went on to serve in the United States Navy uh, before returning home to the Bluff City. I've been in ministry for close to 30 years right here in the city of Memphis. Uh, As a youth, I grew up within the Church of God in Christ circles before branching out on my own uh, as an adult to more non-denominational settings. I served one pastor for more than 15 years, uh, which is where I received my calling to pastor and move forward in ministry. And uh, while I don't play the keyboards much these days, uh, I am a musician and uh, my son is playing now more and more, and uh, I've traveled the nation ministering in song. I released my first CD back in 2001 uh, entitled In His Image, and I had a follow-up CD in 2010. The title was Now We Worship. At the close of today's broadcast, I will probably play a small sample from one of those CDs, and you'll hear that at the close of our broadcast. And uh, if you're interested in hearing more of the music that you will hear today at the close, you can reach me at my personal website at jeffgalmore.com. And uh, we'd be glad to service you in any way we can uh, if you're interested in any of the music you hear today. Amen. Our, Our church vision is centered around the family. We believe that God's original plan to evangelize the earth is found in Genesis 128 where after receiving the blessing, God commanded Adam and Eve to be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue the earth. God's original design was for there to be one godly family after another. And these families would reproduce, colonize, dominate the earth. Based on this precept, we believe in changing our community, one household or one family at a time. I'm blessed and humbled that God has allowed my entire family to serve with me at our church. We are not a perfect family. We're far from perfect, but we are a family of faith, hope, and love in the finished work of Jesus Christ. And we believe we have been given the grace, the commission, and the ability to share this good news with other families. Did you know that God never intended for us to try and live this life on our own. According to scriptures, there's only two realities here on earth. We're either living under the blessing of God or we're living under the curse. Those are the only two realities here on earth. There's no in between. When Adam disobeyed God, a curse was released in the earth. That curse was not placed on Adam, but it was released in the earth because of Adam. The curse, very simply, is the opposite of the blessing. The word bless comes from the Hebrew word baraka. This word blessing is multifaceted. It means the power to produce results. 
It also means to perpetually renew and resupply. It means the anointing of God through which divine favor flows. This blessing, this blessing, before Adam and Eve made a move, God pronounced this blessing on the family. God never intended for families to try and make it in this world without this blessing. Amen. Amen. Let's take a look at Proverbs 10, 22, and it says, the blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow with it. Amen. That word sorrow means painful toil or struggle. Another version says the blessing of the Lord makes rich without any toil or struggle. Amen. God never intended for the family to toil and struggle, to suffer in lack and shortage, to try and make ends meet. Amen. Where did this struggle, where did the toil come from? In Genesis chapter 3, we see where Adam and Eve sinned and allowed the curse to enter the earth. Genesis chapter 3 gives us a description of what the curse looks like. To the woman, God looked at her and said, you will have pain in pregnancy, pain in childbirth. You will compete with your husband and man will desire to rule over you. To the man, he looked and said, Adam, because you have disobeyed, the curse is now coming to the earth. And he says, the ground has now been cursed. This is where we get the earth cursed system from. He said that you would sweat and toil just to have bread, and then you would eventually return to the dust of the ground. Uh, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, the, the curse in summary is a life of struggle. It's a life of toil. It's a life of short shortage and lack, straining just to make ends meet. This is the curse. This is never. This was never God's intended plan for the family. Amen, brothers and sisters, but there is good news. There's good news. God did not leave us under the curse. He did not leave us there. In Genesis chapter 12, God speaks to his servant Abram, and he says, Abram, in verse 1, Abram, I need you to get out of your country. Abram was in a land of moon worshipers. God told him, I need you to get out from your country and from your father's house to a land I will show you. He says, I will make your name great. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. You will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who curse you. And in you, all families in the earth will be blessed. Amen. In Genesis chapter 12, God reintroduces. He repronounces the blessing on all families that would choose to live and walk by faith in God's word, who would choose to live and receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Amen. God has redeemed us from the curse, from toil, from struggle, from straining, and God has pronounced the blessing. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I can't believe it, but our time has already uh, gotten by us on our first broadcast today. I want to leave you with this thought that God intended for you and I and our neighbors and brothers and sisters to live under the blessing of Abraham. That is a message at our church. We teach every family that the blessing belongs on your house. It belongs on your house. It belongs on your finances. It belongs on your marriage. It belongs on your children. It belongs on your children's children. It belongs on your property. All that you lay your hands to has been called to the blessing. Amen. Amen. Uh, our time is up for today. We will, we will pick up here next week with our next broadcast. And uh, I want to pray with you, if you don't mind, for just a few moments. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word, and we receive your word by faith. Father, for everyone who would receive, we pronounce, we decree the blessing of Abraham over every household listening today. In Jesus' name, amen. 
brothers and sisters, my neighbors here in Memphis and and those around the country. Listen, have a great week in the Lord. We'll be back here next week at the same time on the same station. Until then, keep walking by faith and not by sight. Yeah.